Thank you, Richard. Thank you for doing this. And, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking your time this evening to be with us. And what's most important tonight for me is to hear from you on whatever you're thinking about with respect to our city. Please don't make it a speech because I can't absorb that much. Uh, but, but whatever I is, I got speeches all day today is the only thing. I'm full up on those, but I uh, really appreciate you taking your time to be here. Uh, I want to start with a few introductions. First, my wife Susie is here, if you would please, just to let her know who you are. Who's um, my rock and um, my best friend and, and uh, enables me to do this. And secondly, uh, I just want to ask all the people here tonight with our fire department and our police department just to stand up just for a second. We've done a lot of things for the city in terms of the Walnut Canyon fire and uh, that entire situation. And uh, I know there's a lot of Monday morning quarterbacking going on uh, by the members of the media, but I could I could not be more proud of our city staff. Hi, Chief Jerry, who just came from his latest meeting uh, to probably 12 hours today, and. Um, I just couldn't be more proud of our, first of all, our community, uh, the people who were evacuated. You know, we evacuated 26,000 people in two hours on that Tuesday, the 26th of June. It was chaotic. Uh, I was on the interstate and saw it, and um, it was not totally smooth by any means, but there were no incidents and there were no injuries. And that's a tremendous testament to the people themselves who were evacuated, if you think about that, and the pressure they were under, and how fearful they must have been. And certainly the same has to be said about our police department and our fire department. We got them out of there and got them away safely. And God bless all of you in public safety for putting your lives on the line every day for us. We really do not thank you enough. And I also want to thank all of our other citizens who have stepped up to help. And you've heard the stories. Um, Karen Shear received a million pounds of food, all-time high in food um, contributions, and uh, United Way raised over half a million dollars at that Community Rising concert. Now there's a group called Colorado Springs Together that will do everything it can uh, to help restore lives and neighborhoods and community spirit over there on the west side. And you can help by going to their website, um, coloradospringstogether.org, and you can volunteer if you want to, or if you've got an idea, you can leave that, post that. If you need help or know somebody who needs help, you can do that as well. They need volunteers, they need money, obviously. I also want to take a moment to thank um, the council person who represents this district. And I'm referring to Angela Dubin, who's here. Angela? <laughs> next April, we'll have our next municipal elections in Colorado Springs. And Angela's seat will be open as well for all the um, district seats. And I just want to tell you something. Angela Dubin has been there for me every single time that my first year in office in terms of simply fiscal responsibility and using common sense in city government. And I could not give you a stronger endorsement of somebody than I want to give you right now of Angela Dugan. I wish I could say that about all my colleagues, but Angela Dugan gets it. She has to meet a budget in her family and recognizes the city should do the same, that we have to move toward priorities and, and make choices and, and make tough decisions. So Angela, thank you. because. You've been on some eight to one votes, but I want to tell you the one vote, in my opinion, it, it has been the correct vote. So just keep it up if you can. Um, really, that's my opening, Richard. If you want to take it from there, I'd appreciate it. Let's do that. 